Good day. We'll discuss solving rational equations on word problems. Example 1. In an inter-barangay basketball league, the team from Barangay Kulyat has won 12 out of 25 games, a winning percentage of 48%. How many games should they win in a row to improve their percentage to 60%? So let X be the number of games that they need to win in a row to increase their winning percentage to 60%. Now based on the given and the first sentence that they have won 12 out of 25 games. And the percentage is 48%. So 12 over 45 is equal to 0 0.48. Now if they win x games in a row to increase their percentage by 60 percent then they would have won 12 plus x games out of 25 plus x games because the denominator is the total number of games so in a row it means consecutive so if they win 12 consecutive games then of course in the de denominator it should be 25 plus 12 so in general, let X be the number of games that should be won by this team. So thus, we have now our rational equation 12 plus X over 25 plus X equals 60%. Okay, so we can do cross multiplication here. So since we have one rational expression here and one rational expression here, since we can always put over one here. So cross multiplication, so we have 12 plus x is equal to 0.6 times 25 plus x. Then we can distribute 0 0.6 times 0 0.20, uh, 0 0.6 times 25 is 15, 0 0.6 times x is 0.6x. And then we'll separate those with x and those without x. So I will transpose 0.6 on the other side. So we have x minus 0.6x and 15 minus 12. Take note, there is a inv an invisible one here. So 1 minus 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.04. So 0 0.04x. And 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.04, so we can cancel. And 3 divided by 0.4 is 7.5. But take note, we have labeled x as the number of games. There is no such thing as 7.5 games. So we should round it up to the next integer. So therefore, Barangay Kulyat needs to win 8 games in a row to raise their winning percentage to 60%. Example 2. This is somewhat uh, the same or similar to example 1. So you have 6 liters of pineapple juice blend that is 50% pineapple juice. So meaning in a blend, in a total 6 liters of pineapple juice blend, 50% of it is pineapple juice. So how many pure pineapple juice needs to be added to make a juice blend that is 75% pineapple? So let X be the amount of additional pure pineapple juice that is to be added to make the 50% pineapple juice blend increase to 75% pineapple. So the pineapple juice blend has a total volume of 6 liters and 50% of it is pure pineapple. So meaning if the total is 6 liters and 50% of this is pine, uh, pineapple, uh, pineapple juice, no, the pineapple juice, so meaning it is 3 li liters, right? Because 50% means half. So half of 6 is 3. Okay, so that is the original blend. 3 over 5, or 3 over 6 is equal to 50%. Now, to increase the amount of pineapple juice blend to 75%, of course, we need to add uh, pure pineapple juice. Okay, the pure pineapple juice. So, if we add X liters of pure pineapple juice, of course, the total volume will also be added by X pineapple juice. Okay, so that is why we have 3 plus X liters all over 6 plus x liters and it should be 0.75 because the total blend must be 75%. And again, we can do cross multiplication since we can have this as over 1. 
So, 0 0.75 times 6 is 4.5. 0 0.75 times x is 0.75x. Then we'll separate those with x or those with variable x and those who do not have variable x. So x here, I will transpose 0.25. So this will become negative 0.25. And on the right-hand side, we have 4.5. 3 will become negative 3. So 1, this is 1, minus 0.75 is equal to 0.25. 4.5 minus 3 is 1.5. And then dividing both sides by 0.25, the result is 6. So therefore, I need an additional 6 liters of pure pineapple juice to make the blend 75% pineapple. Okay, example 3. Jens walks, so it should be Jens, I forgot the S. Jens walks 5 kilometers from his house to Kiapo to buy a new bike which he uses to return home. He averaged 10 kilometers faster on his bike than on foot, so obviously because he's now riding a bike. If his total trip took 1 hour and 20 minutes, what is his walking speed in kilometers per hour? Take note of the formula, speed is equal to distance over time. So let V be the walking speed of gens. So take note of this table. We have three variables here, the distance, the speed, and the time. And we have two situations, his travel from house to Kiapo and from Kiapo to his house. So, of course, the distance is 5 kilometers. Then, based on our labeling here, V is the speed from house to Kiapo because he, is, he was just walking. Okay, and from Kiapo to house, he was just, he's riding now his bicycle or his bike, and he's 10 kilometers faster, so the speed, therefore, is V plus 10. Okay, then from this equation, we can cross multiply, V is equal to dt. If we cross multiply, this is over 1, this will become VT is equal to D. And then we can divide both sides by V. So T is equal to DV. So that is why we have this. T is equal to DV. So distance over velo uh, speed. So therefore, on this, X, uh, on this cell, we have 5 over V, distance over the velocity. And on this cell, we have 5 divided by V plus 10. Okay? So take note that this last column is for the time. Now, let's go back to the last sentence. If his total trip is 120 minutes, so let's convert this one to hours. So take note that 20 minutes over 60 is one third because 20 is common. We can cancel this. 1 times 20 is 20. 3 times 20 is 60. Okay, and this is a mixed number or we can do this. No, similar to make a similar fraction, 3 over 3 is the same with 1, so 3 plus 1 is 4 third or 4 third hours. Or you can have your own style in solving this mixed number. Then, thus we have now the time from house to Kiapo plus the time from Kiapo to house is equal to his total time of trip. So we will focus here. So we have 5 over V plus 5 over V plus 10 is equal to 4 third. Now the LCD here is 3, 5, V plus 10 and V since all of them are distinct and unique. All of them are non-factorable and they are not the same. So this is our LCD, and then we apply what we have learned in the past. So distribute the LCD to each of the fractions. So we can cancel V, V. So we have 5 times 3. We have this, 15, and then V plus 10. So we have here V plus 10. Then next is V plus 10 will be cancelled. So 5 times 3 is 15, and there's still a V. So 15, V. On this side, we can cancel 3. 
So we have 4 times V, so 4V times the quantity V plus 10. Next is distribute v, eh, 15V times 1510. So we have 15 times V is 15V. 15 times 10 is 150. So we have 15V plus 150. And then just copy 15V on, on the right side, distribute again. We have 4V squared and then 40V. Next, I transpose everything to the right since this is quadratic in form. So this negative 15V, 2 negative neg negative 15V will be negative. And then positive 150 is negative 150. Then combined like terms. So 40V minus 15V minus 15V is equal to 10V. There's still V here, 10V. And then copy minus 15. Okay, and then we can divide this by 2. So this is uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 150 divided by 2 is 75. Okay, and by factoring, this is equal to 2V plus 15 and V minus 5, the product of the two factors. Okay, and then either of these two is 0, so 2V plus 15 equals 0, or V minus 5, uh, minus 5 is 0. So this means that if we transpose negative 15, so we have neg a positive 15, it will become negative 15, and then divide by 2. So we have negative 15 over 2. On the right-hand side, we have trans to transpose negative 5, it will become positive 5. Now, since... There is no speed. Since speed is scalar, it has no direction, it should be positive. So this negative 15 over 2 here is not a solution or it's not accepted. Okay, it's not accepted. So therefore, we will only accept V equals 5. Therefore, Jen's walking speed is 5 kilometers per hour. Okay, last. Two ships traveling from Domaguete to CDO differ in average speed by 10 km per hour. The slower ship takes 3 hours longer to travel a 240 km route than for the faster ship to travel a 200 km route. Or kilometers route. Find the speed of the slower ship. Use the formula V is equal to D over T. Okay? So let V be the speed of the slower ship. Okay, now, so the faster ship is, uh, according to the problem, the faster ship takes 200 kilometer route and with time T, okay? But the slower ship takes 240 kilometers and the time is 3 hours longer. So if, if it's 3 hours longer, so it should be T plus 3. So this is actually 240. Okay, 240. Here, 240 kilometers. So that is why our speed is distance over time. So the speed is 200 over T for the faster ship and the slower ship is 240 over T plus 3. Okay, and this is our V because we have labeled, labeled that V is the speed of the slower ship. Okay, so this is our V, 240 over T plus 3. Now take note on the first uh, sentence, they differ in their speed with uh, by 10 kilometers per hour. So meaning the faster ship speed minus the slower ship speed is equal to 10 kilometers per hour. So therefore we'll use this. The faster ship is 200 T, uh, 200 over T minus the slower ship is 240 plus 3 is equal to 10. 
This is now a rational equation. And then by just looking at this, we have only two denominators, t and t plus 3, and both of them are non-factorable. Therefore, they are distinct. Therefore, they are L our LCD, t times t plus 3. Now solving for t. So distribute your LCD. Okay, so you can cancel t. So we have 200 times t plus 3, correct? Minus, so on this side, we can cancel t plus 3. So we have 240t, correct? And then 10t plus 3 times, uh, 10t times t plus 3. So we have 10t squared plus 30t. And then on this side, uh, we'll distribute 200. We have 200t plus 6 Okay, again, this is a quadratic in form. So, by the way, uh, 200 minus 240t is equal to negative 40t. So, this is quadratic in form again. So, I can transpose all of them to the right side. So, 600 will become negative 600. Negative 40t will become positive 40t. And then combine like terms, 30 plus 40 is 7 now, sometimes larger numbers means it has uh, the difficulty of factoring is high compared to, to lower numbers. So take note, 10, 70, and 600 are all divisible by 10. So we can dis, uh, divide both sides by 10. 0 over 10 is still 0. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 70 divided by 10 is 7. 600 divided by 10 is 60. Just copy the sign minus. So we have now t squared plus 7t minus 60. And then by factoring, we can factor this as t plus 12 times t minus 5. You can check that one by using your FOIL method. So therefore, it's either t plus 12 equals 0 or t minus 5 is equal to 0. Then solve for t, t is equal to negative 12 or t is equal to 5. Now, when we talk about time, it's not uh, it's not negative. Why? Because there's no negative time. So thus, the speed of the slower shift, which is v, which is equal to 240 over t plus 3. So we can substitute our time here with 5. So 240 divided by 5 plus 3. 240 divided by 8 is 30. So the speed of the slower shift is therefore 30 kilometers per hour. So thank you for listening.